in Custer Park, one of the things that we had done um, was went up to the Spire Tower, and that road was bumpy. <laughs> it was bumpy. It was a dirt road. It was really high up. Um, I felt like I was on the cliff side both ways. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it was switchbacks. It was, it was a bunch of switchbacks. I don't know. Up there. You're, you're only taking a car or a truck or something. You're not taking a trailer. No. You're not taking a big RV or anything like that. I want to say it was like four miles on that road. I don't know. Anyways, it wasn't the smoothest road. It was pretty bumpy. There was some washout, you know, different things. There was no guardrail. But once you got up at the top, um, there was a fire tower at the top, and the view was just amazing. So, if you don't mind a bumpy road, <laughs> don't mind there not being any guardrails and all those kind of things. It it's was totally fine if you're, if you're in a passenger vehicle or a truck or something. Yeah. Yeah. Totally fine. I Amy just doesn't nervous. like looking off the side of the cliff while no? she's driving. While I'm driving. While he's driving. That's... <laughs> Yes. So anyways, that was fun. It was worth going up there. We got to see some beautiful views up at the very top of that. So that was the fire tower. Good cell service. Yeah. There was a huge um, uh, 5G something couple, tower couple right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. And um, so yeah, it was a good time to get some things downloaded on my phone, which was nice. Um, my phone will just, you know, ping, ping, ping with messages whenever I got service. So it was kind of funny. But anyways, so we then we went up to Sylvan Lake and was hanging out at the lake. But I didn't kind of tell Mike the next thing that we were going to do that day. But we had drove back down to the visitor center. And from there, if you want to have the correct view for this, you want to start at the visitor center and then go Iron Mountain Highway. And um, once you're going through the bridge and going from the south to the north, right? I don't know. Just go to the visitor center first and then go Iron Mountain Highway. And we got our first view of Mount Rushmore. Oh, oh. I'm like, what are you talking, what are you talking about? about? See? <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought that was... Needle, needles. Yeah. So, um, all of a sudden you go through the first tunnel and there it is. And I didn't think it was going to be in the first tunnel. And I'm like, oh, we just missed our first... <laughs> the first view, the first glance. I like thought that I totally blew it. <laughs> But we didn't. Um, the second one, you don't get the view <laughs> when you're going through the tunnel. So then I was like, oh, man. But the third um, tunnel you go through on that little road um, is like the money shot to see Mount Rushmore. So we made sure that we saw Mount Rushmore before we saw any other big sculptures in the area. And um, that was really special. And then we decided, because we had been dealing with a little bit of thunderstorms and different things, that we went ahead that night and went and saw the night lighting of Mount Rushmore just oh, in yeah. case on the day that we were planning on going, which was on our actual anniversary, that it was stormy or something. We didn't want to miss not getting to see it. So we actually ended up, like spur of the moment, going um, to Mount, Rush Rush Mount Rushmore that night, um, which was fun. So we didn't see any extra buffalo that day, but we did end up, by that evening going to Mount Rushmore, mm -hmm. um, which when you're there, you have to get the... <laughs> I don't remember the, it's been the vanilla ice cream, but I don't remember Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, we gotta look that up. Oh, Thomas Jefferson vanilla ice cream. So when you're at Mount Rushmore, be sure to get the Thomas Jefferson vanilla ice cream. Super good. Just cause it's fun too. The ice cream, I got the ice cream and I always got, well, I got vanilla and chocolate. I got a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. They always think I'm like funny because I like eating the cone and the little bit of ice cream at the bottom. So I'm always telling them to put like the tiniest scoop of ice cream they can in the <laughs> in the cone. And they're like, what? And I'm like, no, no, no. Like half a scoop in the cone. <laughs> and so um, anyway, so then Mike just ends up with my other half of the scoop. But <laughs> the ice cream though is special though because it came back with a recipe that came back from France. So it's supposed to be like the first ice cream that was ever in the United States. So um, it's like the original recipe. They have other flavors, but that's why you get the vanilla. But we saw the lighting of Mount Rushmore and sat for the performance, which was kind of neat to hear, you know, like God Bless America being played, which was also kind of interesting that one of the other music selections without words 
was Amazing Grace, um, which was kind of neat to hear that being played too at Mount Rushmore. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Pretty good. This, the uh, lighting of it and the presentations and everything they do is really cool. It's really fun to see and because you're like look like just looking at Mount Rushmore is pretty fantastic. So we actually went back to Mount Rushmore on another day, but since we're talking about Mount Rushmore right now, we should just kind of talk about it. But we did the President's Trail around um, when you're going, and I thought I was super excited. I thought that we did it the right way. Huh? That, so this is like I'm just saying. You, this is I like thought I knew our super dad s- saying he walked uphill both ways. We did. There was we no. walked uphill both ways on the. <laughs> So, anyways, I thought I knew a super secret that if you went one way, you were going down all these stairs. Well, once you got halfway up, you were going back up all these stairs on the other side. So, there's no secret. There are a ton of stairs both ways. Like, it doesn't matter which way you go. You're going to go downstairs and upstairs. But there was some really cool views. There's this little cave um, kind of thing that we have a little video of. That Mike kind of walked in, and then you look up, and there was like straight like George Washington space, mm-hmm. um, which was really cool. But you have to go if you can do the stairs. You have to go to the sculptures studio, which was so cool. It yeah. has like big. They were huge. I have no idea how big they are, but they're the original sculptures that they used to make the mountain and what like a model of it. The model, but it yeah. was like in a big building, like yeah, it was like what sixteen feet tall. I have no idea, like how tall they actually were, but it shows like what they were supposed to be like when they were finished. But World War Two happened, and so they never finished the sculptures. So it would have been like the whole like jacket for Washington and you mm-hmm. know different things yeah. for all the presidents and they just because World War II had started they just did everything they could to make it as complete as they could and be able to finish the project and after the war they never went back and finished it so it's just kind of interesting to see what it should have been and how having a war like changed things and it's still even not being all the way completed, it's still just such a cool thing to go see and experience and, yeah, and be able to it's super cool to see. Do that. And all the different viewpoints that you can see it from and just different things. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we were there two times. So we went during the day one day and then we were there for the light show the other day, which was nice. What else did we do? So we spent the whole day in Custer State Park and we only saw that one buffalo. But I had learned that there was a secret to see more buffaloes. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that we talk about this. So the other roads, besides the one that goes up to that, um, oh, the fire station, the fire tower, all the other um, roads in the park that are dirt roads, they're all nicely groomed. And um, the dirt roads are like, you can travel on them. And if you can't see the buffalo on the wildlife, loop then you go down some of those dirt roads so we were able to go down four mile drop yep yeah four mile drop and we found them we found like so many yeah buffalo. A herd of buffalo yeah it was incredible we sat there for about a half an hour we had a buffalo come and lick our car <laughs> so yeah. you can quietly hear mike like roll the window <laughs> yeah. it's all fun and games because at this place <clears throat> well, it's just you can have the windows down or or whatever to to view them, but yeah, I was not gonna have a buffalo try to stick their head in my car or, <laughs> or whatever. But it, it was so fun. Like we just sat there for like a half an hour. Just it was fun, watching. and then also like a little anxious because you're like it's like you're seeing like at, so the stages of the whole seeing the buffalo where you drive up and there was cars stop and there was buffalo like in front of you and then the herd moved towards us while we were stopped and so now there's buffalo all around us mm-hmm. and it was a little it was, they're huge they're, they're and then on the side of the so they were on the left hand side of the road they kind of went and they you know crossed the street right between us and this truck in front of us and then we're grazing on the right hand side of the road and then one of the somebody made a noise and all of a sudden they started running <laughs> and there was just a little 
nerve wracking. Well, the Buffalo Train, though, I think. Yeah. The leader or something. It was, it was time to go. And then they just all just kind of scattered and ran, and you didn't see them anymore. And it was just, it was really cool. So the people that were coming up behind us and stuff, they did not get the experience that we got, but you could still see them. So, and while we were there watching the Buffalo, they're like right close to us. I look in the rear view mirror and there's like a side by side coming up behind us and which is just open air. <laughs> they have no doors. It's just like, and so they stop about, I don't know, a hundred feet behind us. And then they turn around and <laughs> leave because they, they weren't prepared. Hey Mike, we found them. Yep. <laughs> Wanna see? Buffalo. You can hear them munching. They're all up on that hill up there too, moving. There's a calf. There's a bird on this one. Mm -hmm. Just right in along. Is he looking at the car? He's licking the car. He's licking the car. <laughs>